Although many 90 Day Fiancé couples have remained constant fixtures on the various 90 Day Fiancé spin-off shows, this is not true for all of the franchise's couples. At the moment, there are a whopping 19 spin-off shows. It's very common for couples who were on the flagship series to also appear in the popular spin-offs, from 90 Day Fiancé, Pillow Talk to 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After? In addition to starring in the franchise's myriad spin-off shows, a lot of the show's couples use their newfound fame to become social media influencers. Some 90 Day Fiancé couples capitalize on their new school media followings to embrace brand partnerships, sell products, or earn cash at platforms such as Cameo or OnlyFans. These are couples that are hard to forget about because they are still in the spotlight long after their original seasons ended. However, not all 90 Day Fiancé couples have been starring in spin-offs, and some aren't exactly making it big on social media. There are several couples who have laid low since their segments on the shows that are still going strong as duos. Read on to find out who they are and what they've been up to since they filmed their seasons. Curly Mandel and Cox. Viewers met Alan and Curly M. Cox on 90 Day Fiancé Season 1. Alan and Curly M. got acquainted when Mormon man Alan visited Curly M.'s Brazilian hometown while doing missionary work. Curly M. was just 11 years old at the time and their romance didn't begin until a decade later, when they reconnected at the ages of 21, Curlium, and 29, Alan. The couple appeared on 90 Day Fiancé, What Now?, and the COVID-19 era spin-off, 90 Day Fiancé, Self-Quarantined. They also starred in the game show spin-off, 90 Day Fiancé, Love Games, although that show was not very successful. Alan and Curlium both used their social media occasionally to document life with their two children, Liam and Enzo Cox. Lewis and Iagatan. Lewis and Iagatan met on an international dating site. Lewis, a father of two, proposed to Ayu from the Philippines after they spent only one week together. Seven years after they appeared in 90 Day Fiancé Season 1, the two are still happily married. The pair share two children together, so they are now in a family of six. Aside from their initial 90 Day Fiancé appearance, the couple has not appeared on any franchise spin-offs, and Aya keeps her social media private. Mike and Aziz of Elashway. Another successful couple from 90 Day Fiancé Season 1, Mike and Aziz of Elashway, met online in 2013. Fans were skeptical of them at first since the Russian woman asked Mike not to sleep next to her after she arrived in the U. S. However, the two are still happily married and have a daughter named Olivia Elashway. Aziz's Instagram chronicles her family's adventures. The couple has not been in any spin-off shows. Brett Otto and Dalia de Ars. Brett Otto and Dalia de Ars had a rocky start in 90 Day Fiancé Season 2, as the Philippines woman suspected that Brett had given her a fake engagement ring. The ring turned out to be real, and the two tied the knot. In 2017, they had a daughter, Isabella de Ars. Brett and Dalia are not active on social media but they did make an appearance on 90 Day Fiancé, self-quarantined as well as 90 Day Fiancé, Love Games. Justin and Evelyn Hollis. Justin and Evelyn Hollis met in perhaps one of the most unusual ways in 90 Day Fiancé history. This season two duo got acquainted when California man Justin was visiting Evelyn's home country of Colombia. While at the 2013 World Games, the two were ordering food from the same hot dog stand and struck up a conversation. The couple had a baby, Nathan, in late 2020. They haven't been on any spin-offs, but Evelyn is fairly active on Instagram, 
sharing vegan tips and photos of their son. Matt Ryan and Ala Federic. The fan favorites Matt Ryan and Ala Federic tied the knot on 90 Day Fiancé Season 4. The Kentucky man and the Ukrainian woman met online long before their season, but ended up getting married to other people. They each eventually got divorced, reconnected, and then had a beautiful wedding at the end of season 4. The couple is now expecting their second child together. Alla came to the US with her son Max, so they will soon be a family of five. Although they have laid pretty low since their season, the couple starred on 90 Day Fiancé, self-quarantined. Josh and Ika Batterson. Fans may remember Josh and Ika Batterson from 90 Day Fiancé Season 5 because of the dramatic start to their 90 day time period. When Ika moved to the US, she discovered that Josh had domestic violence charges and a history of cheating. What's more, Ika was hoping to have children, but Josh revealed that he had gotten a vasectomy. Ika's doctor then told her that she might be infertile. Despite all of the challenges, the pair is still happily married. The Philippines woman and the Arizona man document their travels around the United States on social media, but have never been in any 90 Day Fiancé spin-off. Jenny Torres and Larry Pisariello. Although Larry Pisariello and Jenny Torres have appeared on several spin offs since their 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 Days debut, they remained removed from any drama and haven become big social media influencers. In their season, Larry traveled to the Philippines to meet Jenny in person after establishing a connection online. They let fans know about their life as a married couple on their shared Instagram and YouTube accounts, and many fans have applauded the couple for their unproblematic union. Larry and Jenny appeared together on 90 Day Fiancé, What Now, 90 Day Fiancé, Self-Quarantined, and 90 Day Fiancé, Love Games. Josh and Alexandra Straubel. A controversial couple from 90 Day Fiancé Season 3, Josh and Alexandra Straubel met in the Czech Republic when they were both studying abroad. Many fans thought Russian go-go dancer Alexandra was an odd match for Mormon man Josh, but the two tied the knot regardless. The couple had their first child, Kaya Straubel, in March 2016. As Kaya has a much darker skin tone than both of her parents, some fans accused Alexandra of cheating on Josh with her best friend, whom viewers thought looked more like their daughter. Alexandra denied all of the cheating rumors, but because of this scandal, Josh and Alexandra have chosen to keep their family off of social media, even after the two welcomed their second child. Josh doesn't have an online presence, and Alexandra uses her Instagram to chronicle their adventures as a couple. The two did not appear on any 90 Day Fiancé spin-offs, 